Come on, come on, come on, that's all right now. Don't you worry at all about anything. What? No, I just, no, I just worry in a break at the moment. But I just want to sort of uh, organize something like that. I'm in the dress. <laughs> the wardrobe they wouldn't let me wear my suit. <laughs> and they made me a dress. Thank you, Anno. Babs. There's Danny. Hello, Danny. And Chris. There's the gang. Aren't they the greatest crowd of lousers you ever come across? Everybody. <coughs> Everybody I know. Thank and you. Noel. And Eileen. And and the Lorcan and Susie and everybody. <laughs> Mr. Ryan. <laughs> and Dom! Hello, Dom. Hello. That might, that's my in-law. My, my brother-in-law. Yes, we heard. Yes. 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 <laughs> and Peggy. Yes. Hello, Peggy Dell. Maggie yes. Tisdell. <laughs> well, how are you anyway? Brian. Now that you're here. How are you? Are you I'm well? sick. <laughs> they know I'm sick. Yes. After a dress yes. Well, we thought it might be a nice little idea just to get a group together. You see, um, we, 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 this is our way of, as I've explained to the audience at home, this is our way of saying sort of, um, you know, well done, down through the years, and thank you for all the laughs and all the jokes and all the hard work and all of that sort of thing. And we thought we'd get a group of your friends together to say nice things about you. So far, they've been saying very nice things about you. Mm. That's why the monitors were off in reception when you were coming through and you were oh, delayed. Yeah. In they asked about the one, you know the one in the, in the makeup room? Yeah. It usually shows us uh, pictures but no sound, but it had nothing tonight. That's right, yes, yes. It's something <laughs> <go through. laughs> Not an unusual and I was, I, and I got a lovely makeup and everything. That's, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Well, settle down. Settle down. Look, I got a card for you this morning, Pat, from you and Daniel and Kieran. That's right. Daniel, that's our new son. I know. <laughs> yes, we heard about all of that. So, yes. Well, anyway, there you are. It's nice to have you with us. And um, listen, tell, uh, one question I didn't ask you. Do you remember the very first paid job you did in show business? Oh, uh, let me see. Do you know what? I think I do. I, I think, Danny, do you remember a comic called Jack Harrington? I, do, yes. I think I'll be going home now. <laughs> I think I'll be going home now. <laughs> yes. Well, we, we, and Harry Jemison, do you remember Harry Jemison? <laughs> yes. He was, was all the Jemison family, and he was stage struck. And that right, Lorcan. And he, he, he paid to go on, you know. But he brought, a, <laughs> he brought a show out. We only played Long John Silver and fell down the stairs in the. In the yeah, well, never mind. But uh, we went to London Derry, as it was called then, Derry as we know it now. But we went to Derry to, uh, I think it's St. Columbus, to do a show there. And I got, I, I Connie Ryan, she's... She's in hospital, alas. Ah, uh, well, yes. Connie, where, where's the... Yes. How are you, love? And I hope you're looking in, darling. Because we went to Derry and Jack Harrington and, and Harry Jemison and I got ten shillings. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes, and lovely digs. Beautiful <laughs> digs. <laughs> And I sang, oh, you nasty man. I remember that. That was your first paid job? your first job. paid job, yeah. Is it true you still have the money, no? Oh, no. Yay, <laughs> okay. yay, okay. this is me, <laughs> I haven't got what I got yesterday. I'm not saying I am mad. <laughs> what, what was special about your confirmation day? Oh, my confirmation day. Oh, I'll never forget that. Um, I was playing the Queen's. Three shows a day with Colette Crean, a little girl. We used to do a double act. Sweet Peggy O'Grady, I love you. Well, anyway, I was playing the Queens, and I went to, and I got a bit late, and I went up to Marino. We were, we were confirmed there. I went to Fairview School. But when I got, uh, it was getting late, and I knew I had to get to the Queens. So I just got up as far as the altar and got the, me slap on the cheek and took off down the aisle <laughs> like a wounded gazelle and ran all the way down to Fairview to get the bus. <laughs> they're still looking all around the corner. <laughs> the other thing I didn't cover with you the last time we spoke together, are you really shy? I don't know whether I'm shy or not. I, I, I'm... 
<laughs> Maybe I am. I don't think so. Maybe I'm self-conscious or something. I don't. Is oh. she shy? Is she, yes, is she really shy. shy? Yeah. I mean, I, I, you, you keep on saying you're useless at parties. That yeah. You, yeah. Most of us are pros, aren't we, Peg? Mm -hmm. Useless at parties, the party pieces. You know, we're all right among ourselves. We'll do mad things. But we never have a party piece ready. At least I never have, you know. <laughs> never in my life had a yes, party piece ready. Yes, this could be the night. Okay, how about <laughs> <laughs> Before, before we get to that, I want, I, I, during the week, uh, we picked out a couple of little things that you've done down through the years on television which we find particularly attractive. And we want to remind you and all our guests and our viewers at home of these things. And the first one is a little piece which involves yourself and Mr. Danny Cummins, of whom you may have heard. Yes. You can roll it there, uh, Colette. Um, Danny is a, a gardener in the convent and you're a nun. And you've just been singing a song which didn't work out very well, and he has no hesitation at all in telling you about it. Oh, it yes. Oh, sister. That's brutal. <laughs> can you not do anything else on the telly? Can you not blow a tin whistle or I play the spoons up and down your leg? No, you couldn't do that. Uh, I tell you what, sister. How about a little bit of dancing? Oh, Michael, Michael. Nuns don't dance in public. It's not the thing. Oh, I don't mean the hairy chart of dancing. <laughs> Irish dancing. Everybody loves a bit of Irish dancing. I do a little bit myself, you know. It's very simple. I could show it to you, and then maybe you might do it on the television. I'll do it for you now. Wait till I get the key. <laughs> Wait, what's this? See that? Isn't that simple? You see, what you do on your left foot, you do on your right foot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you revving up now? <laughs> now we'll hold your hand because it helps you to get up off the ground. <laughs> Great sister. Did you really think so? Yes, sister. You haven't seen anything yet, brother. I've yes. gotten the last bit. <laughs> now, was, was that good? Well, I enjoyed it, I must say. <laughs> I always enjoyed that. Do, I mean, did you see any mistakes in it or anything like that? If you had to do it again, would you do it better? Um, oh, more than likely, yes, yes definitely. Yes. I was a bit stooped. <laughs> <laughs> a bit stooped? A bit stooped. Well, you know, yes. 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 the carriage yes. wasn't been good been saying enough. about you that you are painstaking in your preparation, very conscientious about it, and you go over it again and again. Oh, well, sometimes, yes. Mm. Yes, I... We, we do, uh, we do try and get it right. Mm. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I sound like a real paragon here. <laughs> well, it's a good news night tonight. It's a good news night tonight. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Let, let's, show, let's see another piece, which is uh, really one of my favourites. It, it really is outstanding. And this is a, this is a scene in a theatre where Maureen is a, a Mrs. Mop, 
cleaning up the stage and generally sort of using the mop and the bucket. And uh, uh, Patricia Cahill is a little girl over from Ireland and she's coming for an audition in the theatre to sing. You can roll it there, Colette. And uh, you generally explain how you went through years wishing that you too could be a star of the theatre, but it never worked out for you. And then there's a delightful scene at the end. See, didn't realise. But there's a ballet on next. And the dying swan's ever so particular what she dies on. <laughs> <laughs> 